Let's do these top picks now, shall we? Uh, David Burroughs is the president and chief investment strategist at Barometer Capital Management. Uh, three charts that you're going to love the look at, uh, look of rather. A Diamondback Energy Fang is the ticker on the Nasdaq. Why Fang? So we we recommended this one about a year ago as a top pick. It's one that we've continued to hold. We try to find companies that are good, getting better versus the peer group. This is a company that'll produce about 7,000 barrels a day this year. Uh, it'll produce 17. Uh, thousand barrels a day next year, probably 25,000 barrels a day the year after that. Enormous growth. Most recent quarter revenue growth was 240 <clears> percent. <throat> this is a company that is using technology in the Permian Basin to really grow their reserves and production, uh, and they've continued to execute. But when you say good getting better, you, what is the next step uh, on the back of this Prairie Sky issue that's been done on royalty properties? Diamondback is going to come with an IPO of their own. They're going to IPO off some uh, revenue, uh, royalty properties that they bought for $440 million. They probably get a billion to a billion and a half for that, and they could be worth two to three billion. So we think that there is a, a big multiple expansion taking place here. You've got growth plus multiple expansion can give you a geometric lift in price. Next top pick is the NXP Semiconductor, NXPI on the NASDAQ. This specializes in near-field communications. So near-field communications, what is that? When you pick up your Visa card and you look at the chip there, it's a chip that can be read by another device that is nearby. NXPI has 70% market share in near-field communications chips. We're used to them here in Canada. In the U.S., there's 2 billion credit cards that all run off a magnetic strip, and we've heard the stories about what's happened with those recently. We think ultimately the U.S. will convert to chip and pin technology. This would be the big beneficiary. Of course, that's not the only place they're used. They're used in key fobs for near cars. They're used in identification passports. Um, but secure mobile computing and the Internet of Things is something that's going to continue to grow, and they have a very strong franchise in that business. And then RPM International is uh, essentially a chemical company, right? Yeah, we've, we've talked about chemical companies over the last year. The, the very low cost of natural gas in the U.S. versus the rest of the world gives chemical companies an enormous advantage in North America, which is why Sasol is investing $22 billion here. RPM makes a number of specialty chemical products. About 65% go to industry. Uh, there is a pickup in the industrial economy. They are a big beneficiary. Give you one new interesting product they have. They have a chemical you can spray on work boots so that when a worker walks around a construction site, they will gather no mud, hmm. will not grab the shoe. Cool. So really interesting things, but this is a play on a slowly improving economy and very low input costs and a lot of profitability. Okay, uh, three ideas uh, among many uh, this evening with David Burroughs, RPM International, NXP Semi, and uh, Diamondback Energy. Always uh, good to get your insights, sir. Well, thanks for having me again. Okay, we'll see you soon. David Burroughs, uh, thanks to him. Thanks to you, as always, for your questions. Uh, join us tomorrow on Market Call. We have Derek Warren. We're talking wreaths and wine. He's going to give you some wine selections. It was very popular last year. We'll do it again. And then uh, Bill Kerrigan uh, tomorrow night for a technical analysis. We'll see you then. Take care.